Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mock Battles and Ether Raids. Um, yeah, today we are going to have a look at two defenses, because I do actually think that I can do that in the time. Because the first one needs only a bit of feedback, and the second one basically none at all. It just shows a clear, and something rather odd, I think. So, let's get to the first match against Kev. By the way, Kev, congrats. That is an amazing week that you have there. Now. Kev has some pretty nice units. He's got a plus one leaf with a plus attack. She's a very, very scary player phase unit. Now, no, player phase. That's her weakness. She's only a player phase unit. Um, in enemy phase, she is in trouble. So you really, really, really want to protect her. And that's going to be the problem with one of my solutions. Um, others. Uh, Mia. What is Mia's big weakness? Well, Mia's big weakness is Quick Repose. She really has to take out the opponent. That's why there's Hardy Bearing there, so that she takes out Ikes. Now, I don't need them, because I don't actually have an Ike with Quick Repose. I have Quick Repose on another unit, and that's going to be the second clear. And as a note, um, the assists is something that I will uh, not critique, but note as a sort of thought, right? I'm not sure you want her to rally. I mean, who is she going to rally, really? I'm guessing the idea is that Sothis moves first and then she can rally Sothis or something like that, but in practice, I don't see when that would play out. I think you might be better off just giving her no assist and giving Sothis an assist so that she moves first and then can get danced and then she can hit the whole back line. Because what currently happens is she moves after Ninian, she moves last, as a matter of fact. So she's just there in the middle, stuck and actually exposed because so this moves here, Brown moves here, um, Ninian I think moves somewhere like here, and then she's like right there. No, no, sorry, Ninian's gonna be right here since she dances so this, and then Mia's gonna move here, um, exposed since one of the units destroys this structure. So if you can sort of expect that or have some kind of way to smite up, you can take them out especially if a bolt tower hits, and in that spot there, it is rather common, and that's going to be my second solution, really, because I have two solutions in total. So, you know, without further ado, let's get into it. My first solution is going to be actually enemy-facing enemy, enemy facing Leaf. It's not something I recommend, but in this week it works, and in this setup it works. Now, how do I do this again? Oh wait, sorry, this is actually not the enemy-facing one, this is a different one. I'm scatterbrained. Do apologize. So the way this clear works isn't enemy phasing, it's player phasing leaf. I will go. Yes. And that is the through the use of bonus air, right? Because bonus air actually helps us a lot. And loot in this setup helps a lot too. So the way we do it is we move air up. She can take out Leaf no problem since she's fast enough, right? Leaf is getting debuffed on her speed, so she's only at 45 speed. And Air here has 10 tons of speed. Considering she's getting plus 4, another plus 4 from her weapon, another plus 3 from P and E, she's like at like 60 speed, 61 speed, something like that. So she easily takes out Leaf. She can take a hit from Lian no problem because Lian is super, super neutered by loot. And now I put him here, I put her here, and we continue. Beautiful. Now you see Sothis moves up, she goes there, Bull Tower hits. Boom. I can put my Leon here in order to bait Gramamund. I can put loot here and attack Sothis, take her out. I can repo her out then. And now I've taken out pretty much all of the threats on this map because Bram is going to die to Leon. Now I can start taking out towers here in the back with air. I can just block off Ninian with Leon, and then we have no problems there. Oops, skipped a bit, but you know, this is the clear basically. Let's begin. This way? 
Done. So that's the first clear. As you can see, that's how it works out. And you can make your thoughts on how you might solve that sort of approach. I do think you have to be careful with player phase airs on the left there. They, it is very easy actually with a, with a decent air, and there are decent airs. She's been out very, very long. People probably have a few merges on her on quite a few setups. And I do think that many people will be able to see that they can player phase that leaf. And then she is no longer much of a threat. And especially since Mia can't follow up due to her rally, you're pretty safe in doing so. So that's just something to consider where I think Mia's assist is doing you a problem there. Now my second clear, um, I actually didn't try this, might be able to do it, but it's not important, I think. My second clear is surprisingly with my Ike setup, but Ike um, plays a bit of an odd role here. Um, so I'm gonna use Lucina since, I mean, air is a bonus unit, I could just use Marth on a setup instead. So that's one of the things, like, you have great flexibility in these seasons, and I make use of it for this setup here. So, yeah. I hope this is right. I think it is. I must be careful. Ready. Yep, looks right. I will go. So, I put Marth here. Maybe your orders way. And I keep them over here. And the idea is that this block is going to be broken. Now my air has smite, I can smite up Ike, and then he can go up here and attack. And as I said, Mia's going to move here since everybody else is going to block her. As you will see. Now, Leaf is a strong player phase unit, but she is not taking out... Well, surviving that. You know, Lucina buffed and everything, it's just too much. Now, Sothis moves up, here they come, Mia goes and destroys the structure, and now she's exposed. Death's we can smite up Ike, take out Mia, no problem. We can take out Leon over here, we can put Lucina over here, and support Ike thus. Now, Sothis attacks Ike, because she does the most to him, but even then, she doesn't do enough damage. Ike is pretty buff with Lucina's support. He survives her. Bram doesn't do much to a null follow-up Ike. And he dies. Yep, and now all we have to do is... Move up like this. Uh, Ninian will attack Air since that's the only one she can do damage to without being killed. And I have time to get the pots. Orders. Understood. Yes. And we're done! So, those are my two clears of Kev's map. I do think that you should change the assists. I'm not, I don't see too many problems with the units themselves personally, but the assists definitely, definitely are something you should consider. Um, whether to use something different on Bram, I, I know that you really want to merge on Bram, I do too, but you really need it. Um, yeah, uh, the assists, this, this is the one I really, really, really not sure about. And also Leaf, I think you want both of them to be one, units that preferably move out in order to initiate in their player phase, because they're both player phase nukes. And I don't see how you benefit from Sothis moving first. At least I didn't see any scenario where it benefited you relative to her and her moving first and then getting danced. So just something to kind of consider, I think, um, whether you want it like this or whether you want to change it. I would personally prefer it if these two were the ones to move out first and then to kind of terrorize your enemy's back lines. But that is something that I leave up to you. You are a capable player. Um, next, we have RZL's map. Now, I have to switch seasons, and let's hope that I get it right the first time. Otherwise, there will be a cut here, and we will move to a later one, or a cut here, and we will move to a later attempt after I've tested around a bit. So. Is this right? Yes, it's right. Lovely. 
Okay, so this is a very difficult map. Just everybody can see. I mean, this is an ouch pouch Tethys. She has a turn one Glacies. She has absurd amounts of res effectively. I mean, effective res is, I think, 51. And then you also have to consider that she's also got a little attack def, so your def is also neutered, and you can't buff it up at all. And like, she, she, she just one-shots large, large parts of the cast, unless you've got like massive, massive, massive mythic buffs on a unit and, and damage reduction or something. Now, I got close to clearing this with my gold flyers by smiting up, um, what is it? Mm, what was it? Yeah, smiting up Mikaia onto the trap um, after the bull tower hits, and then I can take out Krom. Then I can repo out with Young Sita, and then I can support the other units with, or, or support Young Sita with many flyers. Now, Young Sita just barely doesn't have the merges, and she lacks the IV, otherwise she would take out Marissa. Marissa, I think she misses the kill with all the gold flyer support by like seven or six HP, something like that. If she had an attack, um, what's an attack IV, and she had some merges on her, right, and, and, and full fire, uh, full flowers, everything, I think she would take her out. Because I do, I do believe she also has a super boon and attack, if I'm not mistaken, so just like a few merges here and there, and some stuff playing around would be enough, and yeah, then Marissa would die. But, you know, that takes a very, very merged young Sita. It's not something I would worry about. Now, I'll just show a Gale Force clear, which is very weird, if I may add. So, let's just get into it. And I hope I get it right the first time. So the idea behind the Gale Force clear here is that not to Gale Force and go through, but to get a hit and run, and... Mm, I hope this is right. Consider it done. We'll swim circles around them. Yeah, and here's the thing that's weird. If my two Altinas were in the opposite order, right? Nothing else. The Smite Altina is below, oh sorry, the Smite Altina is above, and the Swap Altina is below. Then Krom destroys my Bull Tower. I don't know why. He, why doesn't he destroy the Bull Tower here? If somebody knows, please explain, because I am very, very confused. Yes. In any case, what we do now is we can take out Krom with Raisin. Then we can take out Thrasir with Lawrence. We can just stall Ike with um, Lawrence there. Now let's see, how did I do it? I think yeah. I put Tidbarn here, it put her here, and left it at that. Shall we so, we can take out Ike with Lawrence. Now we can take out Tethys with Altina. Now we can take out Marissa with Tibarn. Let us go. What now? With utter certainty. And yeah, that is my clear of RZL's map. Now, is this really an easy clear? No, not at all, not at all. It took a lot of experimenting, and I still don't understand why Krom doesn't take out the bull tower when he has nothing else to do. Um, if somebody understands, do. Again, tell me in the comments below. I am confused as all hell. I searched, I couldn't find anything on the topic, and it just doesn't make any logical sense to me from a programming perspective either. So, yeah. Um, but feedback on this map, I think it's very, very good. I don't think you have to change much. I, you know what you're doing. I mean, you don't need me to tell you what to do on your defense map, clearly. This is a very good setup, and I love your Marissa. She's really, really good. She's scary as all hell. That bulk of hers is insane. And it's really hard to initiate on your team and take out um, 
defensive structures, which means that her bulk is even more so and her speed is insane. I mean, she's pretty much always going to have a speed of, I mean, even if we assume plus seven, right? That's still plus 10 with the, with the lull, which means she has 56 speed and you can't buff your own speed stack with visible speed. So you would need 61 speed um, without visible buffs in order to be able to double her. That is insane. It's really insane. So I love her. I do like how Tethys can also do a lot of damage if she, if she so wants. It's, it's partly why you cannot easily bait Marissa is Tethys just destroys things and that's cool. So I, I like this setup a lot. I'm sure it performed well throughout the week. And yeah, I look forward to seeing how you change it since you did mention you want to change something. And yeah, I do think that is all that needs to be said for this episode of Mock Battles. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to be on the series yourself, um, do ask me in the Discord. I will put a link in the description as always, and I will see you then. Until the next video, bye.